you can also convert with molar mass. So once you've found the molar mass of a compound, you can use that to determine 6.02, 2 times 10 to the 23rd things is the same as a mole, is the same as the molar mass. This is all equal to each other, so we can use them to convert. And these are the two conversion factors that you will use for every substance. Every molecule, every element has its own set of conversion factors being these two conversion factors. And this blank would be where you'd put in the molar mass. That's where you'd put it in right there. So let me kind of show you guys some examples here of how this works. For converting grams to moles or moles to grams, remember that we're going to need one of two different conversion factors. And I'm going to go ahead and put them right over here. You're either going to need one mole for every blank grams or blank grams for every one mole. And you'll fill that blank in with the number from the periodic table. So I'm going to do number one right here. I have 40 grams of oxygen and I need to get it into moles. So we're going to go ahead and draw our crosshairs just like normal. And remember that whatever symbol is here needs to go down here. So if you've got grams or moles there, that's what needs to go on the opposite side. So we're going to put grams down on the bottom, which means that moles has to go on the top. I got that from the fact that this is right here. Then what we have to do is we have to fill everything in. Mole always has a one by it, but grams is going to be something different depending on the periodic table. So if we go back over to the periodic table, we can look right here. Oxygen is 15.999. So we're going to put that right down there. Our units are going to cancel out. I'll be left with the thing that I need in the problem, and I'll just multiply across the top and divide across the bottom. So this will turn into this right here, 40 times 1 divided by 15.99, and we'll just plug that into our calculator, and our answer is about 2.5 moles. I am not rounding with sig figs here, so if you need to round with sig figs, make sure you're paying attention with that. Let's go ahead and try the next one here. This one is a little bit different. We're starting with moles to get into grams. So here we have 3.75 moles of nitrogen, and we need to get into grams. So in this case, moles goes on the bottom so that we can get rid of it. It's always one mole, however many grams. We look at the periodic table. So we're going to pull the periodic table back up. Nitrogen right there, 14.007. Let's go ahead and put that in, 14.007. Divide across the bottom and multiply across the top to get your answer. The answer here is about 52.7 grams. We're going to do lead next. So we have 5 grams of lead, which symbol is PB. We need to get into moles. Blank grams on the bottom, one mole on the top. Find lead on the periodic table. The molar mass of lead is 207.2. Multiply across the top, divide across the bottom. And our answer here is 0 0.02 moles. Last one here is calcium. We have 0 0.33 moles of calcium. Then one mole will go on the bottom. Grams goes on top. Calcium has a molar mass of 40.08. Multiply across the top, divide across the bottom. We will get 13.22 roughly. That's how you convert from grams to moles or from moles to grams.